Hi, this is Gajanand from Take Rudranshi, and today we will learn Ajax. So we will understand through an example. Here is the contact form, uh, and uh, we will send the data, uh, this form data, uh, to a PHP using Ajax. So Ajax is simply uh, to send the data to an another page without replacing page. That's called Ajax, right? So you can see page is not replacing, but it can, uh, it are it's able to send the data to an database also so let's find uh, let's fill out this form gajanan uh, gajanan.me and here is the message here is the message and when you submit you can see your request successfully submitted and let's check in a database uh, the data values also in a database table you can see uh, name email and message so this thing we will understand today and I will write a code step by step we will not escape any step so I'm currently in ST doc and I'm creating a project of a PHP application next and let's give any name of our project I'm giving a test Ajax project let's finish it so it will provide me index.php so this is uh, the project which is test project uh, ajax project and uh, first we need to create this form and this html so inside a body tag so let's put it div and its class is container and form its method is post and uh, uh, action is nothing <laughs> and div and also inside a div we need to input type text placeholder is full name we are creating a form right let's copy copy and paste this is for email email let's copy another one this is for text area sorry let's remove this one text area text area and it's put it its placeholder is message and its id is is msc id is important of every input field and last thing is input type submit button let's replace to a button value submit so now now we need to run this project you can see it's pretty simple form right and s to take and put it uh, contact us form data y ajax save and here we will create a new js file and global.js you can give any name this is a global .js. here we will write a code so first we need to link here inside uh, body tag uh, script a script tag should be closed and global.js and it's a type is javascript uh, it requires a jquery so let's type in jquery cdn and click on a first link and it will redirect to a jquery cdn here is the jquery 2.x I am using this version let's copy this one and paste uh, here I remove this unnecessary code it's important but we are not uh, here is, no, uh, is not uh, important we will understand later so this is jquery and this is the our own js file the global.js here we will write a code uh, to understand ajax dollar symbol this is the id selector and uh, just put it ID of a button ID is equal to uh, uh, any button ID you can put it I am putting a sub submit button SUB underscore button when we click this button our code will run so click I am putting click event function and put it alert and let's refresh when you click it says ok no problem let's remove this one and get the form input values using uh, id selector dot value it will give the name this is for email this is for message this is important and just uh, name id a every field of your id and save inside a store inside a, any variable you can give any variable name email message i'm giving and then hx this is important so dollar dot ajax and curly bracket semicolon curly bracket and some properties it's a type is post like a uh, inside a form and this is the url data dot php this file we need to create data dot php just come back in a 
global.js and here we will type a data some data some name email and message this data we will send so name colon name email colon email so this email name and uh, this data we are sending to data.php so when we will successfully send it will return a response so response console dot log and this is a response name email message and just come back come here data dot php and if we set dollar underscore post and name if name is is uh, is said it says ok in console so inspect and when we click type anything and it says ok it's ok fine so it's working whatever you will type it says ok let's remove this one let's copy sorry let's copy and paste three times because uh, name email and message name email and message and also you need to store inside a variable name email and message next thing uh, we need to connect to the database and write a query to store this name email and message inside a table so what we will do just create an object of mysql i and it will take four parameters first is local host second is a root third one is password and last thing is the last parameter is the db name database name so this database we don't have so let's create this one click on a new click here and create now we have created inside we need to create uh, one table so for that just db db and call the method query and here we will write a query and uh, we don't have a table so let's first create a table I just contact c o n t a c t contact table go let's remove this one name email and id so id email name this is for uh, email and this is for message we need four fields to store the data and first one is the auto increment this is text it's a data type is text it's also data type is text and it's also data type is text and id is auto increment let's click on auto increment and its primary key and save so now we have a table uh, which is contact table and we will store click on sql and let's remove this one and click uh, insert and here is our uh, uh, insert query let's remove uh, this values also and we have a uh, one two and three three fields one two and three and let's copy this one and paste it here and now and we need to uh, replace name email email and message so it will successfully store uh, inside a table echo form data submitted successfully you can uh, type a message so let's run this one let's uh, okay and let's type a name email message and submit form data submitted and let's check inside a DB click on a contact table and you can see name email and message that's pretty cool and simple a way to send the data to in PHP so we need to add some more uh, things let's type it success and uh, wrap inside the uh, if block like this and let's control X and control V cut and paste and here we will type some condition if your response is equals to equals to success we can show in an alert box so the message in the alert box your form your request has been submitted uh, you can give any message it here semicolon save and let's check it's working or not just type a name email and type a message and submit it says uh, inside a alert box and let's check inside a db as well here is the message email id and something like that but we need to uh, validate our form right it will show like this invalid email uh, and fill out all the forms to validate the form so form validation 
uh, we will do inside data.php if you uh, if your all if all the field is empty right so name email and M M messages is empty we can say please fill out and please fill all the input field you can you can uh, say to the user like this so after the h2 take we need to p tag and we will put our all the error messages here by hx so you can give any id and here dollar id selected or response pack dot html and response and semicolon and when you click fill out all the form without refreshing form it says like that click 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 okay and form submitted successfully so next thing is for the email email validation email validation so if as if as if for email validation not if email is not correct means not formatted means not correct email email filter validate email if your email is not correct you can say uh, you can show the message to the user invalid email please type correct email save okay just please enter valid email save and okay and put it undefined variable email just i save and refresh put it any name message please enter valid email so name is right and email is incorrect it shows a please enter valid email so at this time i'm typing my own email id here and just type in message my message request and submit so your request submitted successfully and let's check in a database right so here also we have in a database that message in that request as well so today we have seen ajax uh, if you have any questions in doubt you can uh, write a comment so thanks for watching bye take care